Hi, in this short video today, I would like to show you something about our new business application target within Enterprise Manager. The business application target is intended to show you the results of end user sessions in combination with systems, system components that are already monitored by Enterprise Manager. Um, you can simply create such a business application by combining your end user data with the system data and pull it into a single target. And I've done that here and I'm looking at my own Enterprise Manager environment. Clicking on the link of this particular target just gets me to the home page. Once the home page is opened, we can immediately see a health indicator which is calculated from diverse system components and from the information that's provided by the end user monitoring tools. Um, it provides with regions that tell us something about which users were logged into the application, what their sessions were, how much views they did, things about average loss time, that kind of thing. It also provides us with the tracking indicators of performance and violations that are tracked by the end user. Um, if such a threshold gets breached, you'll see that the status will change. Probably that will happen during my demo as well. Beyond the home page, there are several additional features that have been pulled into this, um, to this uh, uh, overview. One is the metric page. And the metric page is all about showing all the end user metrics that we're collecting in um, summation within the Enterprise Manager environment. So it allows me to search for particular users. Let's say that I'm looking for every user that has a username. So when it's not blank. And I search, and I'm doing that for a pretty long period, for 24 hours, but just bear with me for a second. And let me close the search. So. It immediately gives me an overview of all the slowest invocations, slowest clicks by end users that were experienced in the application. As you can see, the application is divided into where we are in the particular um, regions of Enterprise Manager. Um, what we did, did we hit a command link or did we swap something in the menu? And what the actual um, button is that was clicked. Um, we can also see these kind of instances in aggregation. So that shows us the, all the clicks that were done, but then in a timeline. So when I look at the last 24 hours, when was there traffic on this site? How many concurrent sessions? What's the loading time? What were the views and, and actions? Um, I can just add any metric to this view as far as I want. I can even go to session diagnostics so that I can figure out which clicks were done on behalf of what user. So now the system starts looking at the same set of information but then with a mind that it knows which user was actually accessing the application. So let me take the latest one where I was logged in as a sysman and I did 20 seven pages. What it's going to do is it's going to find the information, all the clicks that were done as me as a user sysman within the application and put them nicely into a timeline chart. Once the timeline chart is created, you see immediately which clicks were done. You see that I've logged in, went to the home page, clicked the button, went to the uh, uh, home menu structure, which is something you can find on the business and then home. Um, I actually turned to the search diag page like I've done now, put in uh, a couple of values, and then came back. Each and every time I do an update, you see that there is traction of how long it took and where the time was spent. And if you're actually seeing how much time was spent on the application, how much time in the yellow was spent on delivering the application response to the end user. 
each and every click that was done by the user can have one or multiple underlying objects. Like in this case, there were actually two calls to the backend to make this view go back to the end user. One of those clicks is something that took over five seconds to complete. And by the kind of brownish color here, we know that it was something that was taking a lot of time up on the application server. So if you want to investigate this, we can click on either this job icon or to the log icon. This correlates the information that we've collected on the, job, on the JVM. We can click on this to see what the activity was within the JVM, so why it took five, over five seconds to complete. What it says is that in the JVM, we were only waiting for the network connection. If multiple samples would have been taken, you would see for each sample where the waiting time would have been. Um, if we want to look inside the application server, can we use that same information? Let's go to the log view, which was the other icon that was displayed here. So instead of looking at it from a JVM perspective, let's look at it from an application log perspective. We're selecting the same exact click, and for that we're using on the Oracle middleware stack something that is called an EC. That's a tracking ID that we use to correlate events within the stack. And as you can see here, within the logs, we can find two notifications. If we click on those, we actually get the individual updates that were logged in the WebLogic environment for this particular event. So we've just done a trace from an end user session, saw a problem, and actually drilled down through the JVM into the message log on the application server on WebLogic to do diagnostics and drill down. Let's go back to our business application. The other situation that can happen is that you actually have an alert come into the operations center. So there were so many people that were actually having a poor performance, so an outlier of a page that took longer than, let's say, five seconds. When that happens, the status turns into red. Once the status is red, it will actually fire an alert. These will happen and come into VM as incidents. If we look at a couple of those events that were triggered in the last 24 hour, we actually see that these are end user alerts that were fired into VM. Besides having the event, we have some underlying information. We actually know what the uh, information was that was gathered what the filters were, in this case they were of page load time, and every time that it is larger than five seconds, we actually want to trigger this alert. Um, one of the things that is very convenient here is when you get such an alert, is that it directly has a link into that RUI metric page that we've just been through. So when you click here, it opens up the RUI metric page in context of that particular event. So what it does now, it took the time frame of the event and shows me exactly those metrics that belong to the event. It can also show me the instances that were related to the event. And I get all these instances that were like longer than five seconds and I can immediately start troubleshooting. So when you get an alert or an event in, tells me these five clicks were larger than five seconds. It's literally two clicks to get to the bottom of it and figure out which particular invocation to the backend was taking so long. And then do your diagnostics to JVMD or to the log viewer as shown before.